Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can insert multiple images into Word and then crop them as any shape you like and then save that as an image. So to create my shape, the first thing I'm going to do is just change the orientation of my page and that way I can work with probably a few more shapes. So I'm going to go to Layout and go to Orientation click on the drop down and select landscape and then we're just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to need to create two pages to do this just to give us a little bit of extra space. So whilst we're on layout just click on break and select page break. So the next thing you want to do is to insert all of your images. So go up to insert Go to pictures, click on the drop down. Now you can either use some stock images from Word and if you click on that, you'll have a menu at the side here. You've got a search bar and you can scroll down and pick from any of these images. Alternatively, you can go to pictures from file and then you can select your images. You can select them from multiple files if you like. And if you want to insert them all at once, if you click on the top file here, hold down your shift key and click on the bottom file that will select all of them and then just click insert. Now if we just zoom out you can see that all of my images have been inserted but they're all on completely different pages and in order to get all of my images onto one page I'm going to have to select each one right click go down to wrap text and select in front of text and then just resize it and then we can just place it on that first page. Do the same thing with the next one. And you'll see they'll all gradually move across. Now once all of your images are on one page, this is the point at which you need to place all of your images where you want them. And you can just move them around, but if you want one of them on top of the other one or at the back, just select it, make sure you're on picture format, and then you can use these two here. So if you click on the drop down, you can either bring it forwards or bring it to the front. If you bring it to the front, it will bring it all the way to the front in front of every image. But if you just want to bring it forward, it will just bring it forward one photograph. And the same with this one, send backwards, you can do that as well. Send to back or send it to the back. Alternatively, you can use this selection pane here and all of your images, if you just click on this little eyeball here, it will show you which image you're referring to and you can simply move them up and down if you want to, above and below any other image. So you need to go ahead now and move your images to exactly where you want them. Now, in order to make this work as best as possible, try to make your collage into either a rectangle or a square. If you want to crop it into a circle, make it as much of a square as possible, but it doesn't have to be exact, and I'll show you why you'll be able to crop it. But try to make it into a sort of square or rectangle, very much like this. Once you're happy with your layout, select one of the images, hold down your command or control key, and simply select all the other images and then go up to group and select group. Now all of your images are one group, then you need to right click on it and go to save as picture. Then save it anywhere, I generally save mine onto my laptop and then click save. And now we are going to use this, so I am just going to move it because you might want to make some adjustments, so do keep that copy. Then on this page, go to insert, pictures, picture from file, we go to our desktop, you can see we've got picture one here, click insert. Again, you can't move it, so right click, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. And now we can move this around, let's just zoom in. And now what you'll need to do is crop this image to a square or rectangle. So select it, go to picture format, go to crop, 
select the drop down and select crop. Now you can see all these black markers around the outside. All you need to do is click on one of them and drag the image in. We don't want any white spaces around the outside of this image. So you will cut some images off, but you will see how this now works. So you can go ahead and customize yours to suit you. So I'm just going to cut off all the white spaces around the outside. But if you want to crop it to a perfect square, let's just crop it to the rectangle first, then go to crop. Then you can go to aspect ratio and crop one to one. And that will mean it's a perfect square. So all the shapes you then crop this to will be perfect triangles, perfect circles, etc. So you can crop it as that if you want to. But at the moment, I'm just going to go to crop to shape. Now you can't see all of my shapes because it's off the screen. So apologies for that. But if you go to crop to shape, you'll have a menu which shows you all the different shapes that you can crop to. So for example, here's a triangle. And then if I show you the circle, because we've got a slight rectangle, you can see now it's an oval shape. So that's why if you want a perfect circle, you have to crop it to a one to one ratio first. And then you can just simply go through all these different shapes and just pick one that you like. And once you have cropped your image to exactly what you want, you can also make adjustments to this too. So you can make it bigger or smaller, you can stretch it out. If you use the corners, it will keep its aspect ratio. But you can also then go back up to crop, select crop again, but you can actually now crop it within the shape that you've chosen. And you can make those adjustments. Just be careful not to go over the edge where you've got the white, otherwise you have a little cut off section. And then just go ahead and press enter. Now this is a perfect image for your Word document. Now what you can do, if you want to use this somewhere else, say you want to use it on social media or you want to use it on a website, again, all you have to do is right click on it, go to save as picture. Then again, I'm gonna save it to my desktop. This time I'll save it as picture two and press enter. Then if I just resize this, then go to insert again, picture, picture from file. You can see I've got picture two, insert then I'll just wrap the text again or sorry do the wrapping and then this is now a perfect image that you can use in any document now this is an image but this one here is still the original so you can still go ahead and make some adjustments to this one so if I go back up to the crop tool and I go to crop to shape and pick the circle you can see now I've changed it to the oval although it has got a little marker out here so if we then crop this to a, an aspect ratio, let's go to one to one. There we see that's cropped it one to one and we press enter. We've now got a perfect circle. We can increase the size of it and we can copy this. So if you just select it, hold down your alt or option key, click and drag, that will copy out another one. Deselect them both, reselect this one. We can go back to crop to shape and pick the triangle. Again, select it, hold down the alt or option key, click and drag, deselect them both, reselect this one, go back to crop to shape, pick another shape, and once again you selected another shape. If you want them all the same size, so these are all made from squares now, so if we go up to the height and width you can see they're identical at the top. If you want them all the same size, just click the top one, let's put this to 8 centimeters. press enter. You can see it both changes because we've got this little checkbox here ticked. And that is now eight by eight. Again, with this one, you can do exactly the same. Change it to eight, press enter. With this one, again, eight, press enter. And again, the final one, eight and press enter. Now they're all exactly the same size, same height, same width. And then you can just align them using the alignment tools. Just select the two here, go to align, align to center, those two will be lined up. Same with these two, align, align to center, and then we can just select them both. If you want the heights the same, then select this one and this one, holding down that command or control key, align to bottom, and this one and this one, align to top, and they'll be all perfectly lined up. You can select them all, select group, and then you can all have them in one group. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.